Active weather coverage here on the Weather Network Thursday, January the 18th, beginning in the West. This was the big story yesterday, and it's still a big story. Abbotsford, British Columbia, right westwards to Vancouver, 25 to 30 centimeters of snow. At times, it was falling at a rate of 4 centimeters an hour. Another storm is coming in. We'll talk about that because there'll be snow, rain, and the dreaded freezing rain as well. And Fort Erie, Ontario, getting hit with some lake effect snow on the east side of Lake Erie. And where visibility has been poor, the winds have been strong blowing snow it's cold as well let's talk about the temperatures first big picture and then we'll get into the uh, the regions and this afternoon most of Canada is sub-zero I mean Vancouver just barely above but you've got some like slight snow starting that late afternoon uh, the one anomaly has been certainly a Callaweed has been well above seasonal values but the prairies are back in the chill northern Ontario as well now follow the light blue and the purple the purple's the coldest of the air but the light blue is chilly as well. Well, that is going to be with you for the next few days. And then as we get into next week, it's really retreating. Baffin Island to, say, Newfoundland, Labrador is going to be feeling the chill, but most of the country is going to have a noticeable, if not noteworthy, rebound from uh, this week to next week. Winnipeg, for example, from minus mid-teens to just, above, just below the freezing mark. So you're going to go from below seasonal to well above. Ottawa as well. Still a couple cold days. This warm air is not coming in right away but into next week and with that warmer air we could likely see some more snow as well so we'll have to watch that and in Cali you're going in the opposite direction your temperature is gradually cooling down from well above seasonal to even below seasonal values so there's the big picture the cold air has arrived across Atlantic Canada you're bundling up across the east coast Flurries off the Bay of Fundy, but the squalls are Cape Breton Highlands, western Newfoundland, and along the south coast as well. Now, this is not a province-wide snow. This map is showing you the uh, wind in gusts. That's what these numbers are, so a lot of 60s, 70s, 80s kilometers. And then just look at these narrow lines of snow across the Buren and sections of the Avalon, up and down the west coast. Much lesser amounts for the interior region. So this is local, like little blizzards. That's what you'll be dealing with. And some areas can get as little as 5 centimeters other areas 30 to 50 centimeters of the beer and peninsula will get you around the 15 to 30 range but higher amounts on the west coast and also the cape breton highlands too now in ontario we're still getting some snow squalls on the east side of georgian bay mainly around the really uh, midland area and north through muskoka country easing likely later afternoon this is widespread system snow light snow in southwestern ontario through the morning gradually dissipating through the afternoon hours the squalls ease off in georgian bay and then overnight and tomorrow morning a little more snow, maybe another two to five centimeters around the GTA, perhaps 10 centimeters around the Niagara region, locally more, and then cold winds behind it, and those squalls will fire back up again. But this time, places like Strathroy and the 402, the 401 west of London could get hit with that. So there's a look at some of this projected snow totals, five to 10 centimeters near the Erie shores, lesser amounts near the Ontario shorelines, but watch out still for some lingering lake effect snow, especially off Georgian Bay and east end of Lake Ontario. All right, so there you go. There is uh, some of the cold weather alerts across the prairies. Those temperatures are going to remain chilly. We talked about the warm-up, but they're not here yet. Tomorrow morning, another morning of wind chills in the minus 30s.